Hello everyone and welcome to another video here on the Cycling Day and Extra channel of the 2023 Tour of Slovenia and this was stage four, the big one, the mountain stage, the one that was going to separate the pretenders from the contenders and certainly Slovenia is such a beautiful country and I would definitely already planning my trip to the country itself but plenty of fans again as we've been saying many fans supporting this race quite a lot so it's good to see them being backed up by the locals. At the start of the day, the Bahrain Victorious team was the ones leading the memorial for Gino Mera, who unfortunately, as we know, passed away yesterday. And what a big shame that is and devastating and heartbreaking news for all friends, family, colleagues, fans of Gino Mera, that exceptional rider that will dearly be missed by us all. It seemed like he was just on the verge of becoming a world superstar as well. So a great shame. Nevertheless, stage four had four categorized climbs along the way with three points sprints as well. The last two vicious climbs were in the, least, the same that climb up later on. The organizers flagged the race underway and there was plenty of teams who wanted to get up here. Bingo was one of them. And yeah, plenty of the continental teams really wanted to show themselves despite it being the queen stage of this year's tour of Slovenia. Many eyes were at Jaku Ayula. They'd been dominating quite a lot. Idi Schelling made a move to be up there in the breakaway group. And he was, of course, only 10 seconds down. We also had Asparan as well and Sokarato, the green project rider who was part of the Giro Italia squad as well as Stoinik, who was also a very present part in the breakaways in the Giro d'Italia. But nevertheless, as we know, there was that big climb that all the riders were going to have to contest with twice. The Kolovrat, and it's a categorized one climb, maxes at 14.2%, crucially nine kilometers long and 9.3% average as well. Just an absolutely diabolical climb and one that wouldn't go amiss in either the Giro d'Italia or the Tour de France. But incredible stuff here from Slovenia. But we quickly saw Dylan Hoenewegen struggling. struggling. The, the leader's jersey was definitely going to be on someone else's shoulder for once in this year's edition. But we saw Socorato getting up there, taking the mountains jersey points up for grabs. And uh, what a minor victory that was for the team as well. But the views on this mountain was absolutely exceptional. And we quickly saw the bunch here. Despite losing Dylan Hoenewegen with the leader's jersey, Jacob Ayula still had cards to play here. UAE team Emirates as well, Bahrain victorious. But as we got on the climb with 21.3 kilometers to go, the gaps were really starting to show. And at the front, we had Q36.5. We had Paul Doble as well, who was a top 10 finisher last year. But now he, of course, was with a different team. And we had... Filippo Zana being led up by his Colombian teammate, Jesus David Peña. The tempo was really being set by the Colombian, but Zana looked in a good position here. Plenty of riders being dropped out the back. Diego Lisi were two of the ones who were struggling a bit, but Peña really put something on. And then Paul Doble, the Brit, managed to hit out on the Jacob Eula led group, and the others were not really able to respond. And then we had a leading duo of Zana and Paul Doble. And this was absolutely remarkable riding. Behind, Fortunato was looking around, seeing if anyone was willing to do something. Badi Lati was very strong as well, the Swiss rider. But Peña just sitting on here, really doing his best not to get caught up by any of this. But Zana soon dropped his, but Zana soon hit out. The Italian national champion wanting to make a statement today and dropped the plucky Brit behind him, which was a shame for the pro-continental team human healthcare but Paul Doble what an absolutely incredible ride by him really showing himself at the front but Paul Doble what a ride from him but not long after we saw Peña actually catch the plucky Brit and suddenly Jacob Ayula had two riders on the road in contention for the stage Zana up in front and Peña riding behind the young Brit but it was Sana who was the first rider over the top and then Peña was quickly the second rider with 14.9 kilometers still to go looking behind there was no one there and he literally was chasing his own teammate. Paul Doble unfortunately dropped down as well, was caught by the third group on the road. And it looked like these riders were potentially going to be settling for minor places today. Zana was pushing as much as he could on the descent and overcooked it and then almost crashed into a horse and the bike was falling down the mountain. But Zana luckily was looking like he wasn't too damaged and really fell exceptionally well, but managed to get himself up to the road again his teammate kind of flagging him on saying come on you need to come you need to go with the pace and um yeah zana 
unscathed from a very bizarre incident, but yeah, Zana on his bike as well. And after what we saw in the Tour de Suisse, our hearts really did stop for a moment. But we also saw Fortunato struggling as well, losing his back wheel. But Peña, the Colombian rider, looked like he was going to get his biggest success. The riders behind with 9.1 kilometer were not able to do anything. They caught Zana. Peña really pushed on on the descents. He could smell a really good victory. He came to the finish. He had the other riders in the background, but it was the Colombian from the same place of Egan Bernal. He was going to take his first big victory of his career, but in the group behind his teammate Zana was there, but the Colombian, he didn't think he was going to be winning today, but he certainly did so with a bit of bad luck from Zana and the Colombians, maybe they have a new star in the making here just coming around the last few corners. And yeah, he could almost taste the champagne as he ventured towards the finish line. There was a bit of a bump towards the end. No real Colombian flans here in Slovenia, but stage four won by the plucky Colombian and Jaco Ayula take another stage. But behind Zana was trying to get away from his countrymen of Ulisi and Fortunato. He knew that the leader's jersey was up for grabs and the Italian champion really pushing on here, showing who was the best rider in terms of the Italian, despite having that crash as well towards the end. So Zana, incredible ride by him and Jaco Ayula. What an absolutely astonishing performance by the team overall. But Jesus David Penea taking the win there. And yeah, that was going to be a big moment in the young Colombian's career here. Really showing himself and putting his his putting himself on the map as well. So incredible riding from Jake Ayula, as I said. And he even crashed himself on the stage, as you can see there on the jersey. So yeah, just confirmation there. Peña winning in front of three, four Italians even. Zana, Ulisi, Fortunato, Alotti, Matteo Morohic came in at sixth. Wout Pools came in at seventh. Paul Doble unfortunately dropped down to eighth. Badia Alati in ninth. And then Seehoff in 10th place, 39 seconds down. And here we have the interview from the winner of the stage as well. Oh, no, I just think I, I have to stop for him, but the director told me, no, go for the stage. I, I was really fast in that, in that descent, but he crashed in the same corner that I crashed before. I just remember and break, and I think it was, was good. But in terms of the GC, Zana takes over the jersey by one point ahead of Diego Lisi. Lorenzo Fortunato in third place. Alotti in fourth place. Penena moves up into fifth. Morohic in sixth. Paul Double in seventh. Wout Pools in eighth. Seehoff in ninth. And Lopez in tenth. Anyways, that's basically it for this Queen stage of the tour of slovenia 2023 make sure to hit the like button comment down below what you thought of the stage as well and do you think zana is going to carry this all the way to the finish tomorrow but yeah thank you very much for watching and of course as always have a nice day